We're doing a beach cleanup today in a drive for donations, but also to share the impact of doing these community cleanup events and how important it is to bring people out, get their hands in the sand, teach them about the marine debris that affects Hawaii's coastlines, but also take them to the next level and know that there's solutions to this problem and really make a change in their communities. beach cleanup at Oahu's Windward Shore. This is Kuhuku Golf Course Beach and we're cleaning up marine debris and microplastic that's washed up from the Pacific Gyre. So it's coming from all over the world and it's washing up on our shores right here. We've got our mega sifters down there today so we're going to be doing some sand sifting like super powered. It's really about the education program where we teach the next generation how to deal with the problem, how to create solutions for plastic pollution, climate change, and how to take the steps in their community and around the world. Sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Excited to check it out. So that's the machine right there? That's the machine. Wow. One of our volunteers designed it. Wow, and it's specifically designed to go through sand and yeah. address microplastics. Exactly. That thing's big. Who oh. is getting ready? We got some more muscles to help. Hey guys. I think the best technique is to kind of get like a little momentum. You've probably done this before, right? You're like, I don't I don't, oh, okay. Yeah, I what is our home? The Aina is our kuana. The Aina, the land is our big brother. You know, we've heard that in a lot of stories from past history, and we have to take care of it if we want to continue to live here. They've been closing down beaches because of pollution and just to revive places and so it's super important for us to do our part and you can't help it with plastic but a lot of times you can and it's always the little things that will soon become bigger things and as time goes on we can grow and get better. Are you ready? Thank you very much. Here we got another one coming. <laughs> How long have you guys had this machine working for? Is this recent? Or, yeah, has it been like a year? Or? Oh wow. Over here, especially on the windward side, like, just noticing all the small pieces of plastic, it's, it's mind blowing the scale of it, you know, how much it's just seemingly everywhere. Occasions like today just makes you inspired to take notice of what's going on and just try to be conscious of everything. So, yeah, Vans and Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii collaborating is, I think, awesome. And Vans, obviously, playing a big part in every you know, winter season on the North Shore, you know, they've always been a big factor. So I think it's their way of, of giving back. It's been an incredible partnership with Vans over the years. It's, it's 10 years running now and started with our waste diversion program at the Triple Crown of Surfing. We set up shop at the Triple Crown with Vans and helped to divert the waste away from the landfills, away from the incinerators by separating it out. We have recyclables, stuff that goes to the landfill or incinerator, and then compost. We've been composting the waste that comes from there. And what it's done is built a really awesome relationship where we connect with not only the Vans community who's watching, the people who are on the beach, and the surfers who are out there in the water who end up showing up at our beach cleanups like they are today, and hopefully more in the future. You know, experimentation is a big part of, you know, the sport, and then, you know, you can bring that concept into everyday life. You know, trying new things that will help improve your life and everyone's life. It's about continuing to grow and share with future generations. When I think of progress, I think of sharing the surfing life with, with people, and if it's something that they're into, then they can kind of find the same source of inspiration that can carry them in a lifetime.